Hello everyone, God bless you. I am so excited about this study. I just first want to thank everyone for just being a part of uh, this, the last three weeks have been wonderful, so I just want to first just thank everyone for supporting and just uh, being a part of this study. I wanted to come on tonight simply as an introduction to our Saturday session. This is Beauty for Ashes Healing Ministry. I am Elder Carla Blanton, and I want to just do, again, a really simple, quick, uh, precise introduction to the spirit of the false burden. And I know that this one is not as familiar as the others. And I want it just to, just to give some really simple uh, information to even help our understanding even as we proceed in this week of, of looking at the post and reading the scriptures and even uh, receiving the session on Saturday. I, find it, I wanted to first just go into false what, what is the meaning of false? What, what is a false burden? Well, the word false, it means not according to truth or fact. And we know that the enemy is the liar. He is the father of lies. It is incorrect. We also know the enemy paints illusions. It's meant to, to deceive. We also know that the enemy is a deceiver. And it's counterfeit, which is familiar. So everything that uh, is kingdom, there is a familiar spirit that operates in the wiles of the devil. So this spirit is so different in terms of some of the other ones is more recognizable but this one is not quite as recognizable because it operates almost as, as a familiar spirit so i wanted to admonish you to even be seeking god even this week to help you to be able to identify the wiles of the devil and don't be caught carrying that which god never intended for you to carry so that this is the whole idea behind this this particular session dealing with false burdens every burden is not bad Every burden is not false, but you, we need to, to recognize and know the difference with, between the two. So please keep all of this information in mind, even as we're going to continue, as we have in the previous weeks, receiving uh, wisdom and understanding on the, the particular target. But remember that some things is not meant for you to carry. Some things we take it to God. Other things is not meant for you to carry. So don't allow additional stress in your life because God never intended it. Can we pray? Thank you, Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus. So God, I thank you for this time. Oh God, I thank you for this simple introduction, Almighty God. I ask continually, oh God, grant us understanding, oh God. I understand that wisdom is a principal thing, oh God. And all I get and get an understanding, oh God. So this is a season, oh God, for us to, to, to retrieve, oh God, and to get all the information, oh God, in your word that we can, can grow and to prosper, Almighty God. And we'll be careful to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory, oh God, even as you continue to heal, as you continue Continue to deliver as you continue to set free. So God, I thank you. I plead the blood of Jesus even now, God. And I know that it is done, oh God, because the prayers of the righteous, they do avail as much. So God, we thank you. We bless you. And we commit this prayer to you. And I pray it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God.